So the Champions League final and the Europa League final are upon us. Now what this makes this year's competition so special is that both of, of the finals feature English clubs. In the Champions League you've got the um, Liverpool and Spurs. In the Europa League you've got Arsenal and Chelsea. The first ever time that four um, well, both finals will feature all English clubs. This is a massive, massive year for English football. You know, it's always an embarrassment how the teams do so well in the group stages and then they come to the knockouts, come up against the big boys and, you know, get knocked out. Um, and like the round of 32 or round of 16 or, or whatever. You know, in the odd year, you do get one club that always goes to the final but then comes up against the bigger team, you know, um, who have won much more silverware in the past, you know, and are just a bigger club altogether, and a well, but you know, a better organised club, especially in Spain, and they come up and beat them and absolutely just floor them, if you like. So it's it is nice that you know to see an all English final in both of Europe's major competitions. Now I know that this has got nothing to do with the Oval Town, it's got nothing to do with the football, uh, sorry, the National League, but I thought let's celebrate and let's do some predictions. Uh, about these two finals because I think I am a football fan altogether. I do love the lower leagues, but I also do follow the the bigger leagues because my other club, Newcastle United, is my club. So obviously I follow the Premier League. Therefore, I follow the the big clubs: Liverpool, Spurs, City. Uh, sorry, City. What? Who City? Uh, <laughs> Liverpool, Spurs, Arsenal, and Chelsea. So I thought, yes, let's do a special kind of video where we do predict the uh, the outcome for the Champions League and the Europa League final with the big all English finals uh, and obviously I do want to know your uh, predictions in the comment section below leave them uh, both uh, obviously the Champions, uh, Europa League final first then the Champions League which happens in a couple of days time so let's start with the Europa League so this is happening t tomorrow as, as I'm recording this but oh, but more likely it's gonna be it's gonna be played today or might have already played if you're watching this later on if you are watching if you're here to watch the Champions League predictions. So let's get over the Europa League. So obviously the final features Arsenal and Chelsea. The final will be played in Baku, the uh, capital of Azerbaijan, which is just on the borderline of Europe, right next to the Black Sea as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous place. My other sport of Formula One, um, the they actually race in Baku, they run the streets of Baku. So I'm, I'm fe fe you know, more than aware of what Baku is, and it's such a lovely, lovely place. So I think it's a very nice place to have the final. So let's take a look at the both teams route to the final so Arsenal was in group A they, they, um, they finished top of their group uh, played 6, won 5, drawn 1 lost none uh, 16 points, Chelsea on the other hand in their group did the exact same thing finished top, uh, played 6 won 5, drawn 1, lost none 16 points so a very very good start from both sides on that front and then you progress on to the last, uh, sorry, the last 32. So Chelsea's opponents was Swedish side Mar Malmo, I think that. Again, I'm very, very bad with pronunciation, so if I do get some of these team names wrong because they're foreign, I do apologise. Uh, so Mal <laughs> I'll just go Malmo. Malmo FF, um, Chelsea played them in two legs. Uh, Chelsea won 2 on the first leg, then won 3-0 in the next leg, won 5-1 all together. And then Arsenal played uh, Bait Borisov. Uh, the first leg they lost, actually lost 1 0. They lost 1 0. But then in the second leg they won 3 0. An altogether all aggregate of 3 1. So Chelsea won their game. Chelsea progressed on to the last 16. Uh, played, Dynamo, played at Dynamo Kiev, the uh, Ukrainian side. 3 0 in the first leg. 5 0 in the second leg. A whitewash. Pretty straightforward standard stuff. Arsenal played French side Rennes. Uh, or Rons. Um, again. Apologies for, pronun for uh, pronunciation. Uh, they actually lost in the first leg. They lost three one. Looking like they were going up, but then pulled it back in the second leg and won three nil and uh, won four three altogether. And then you fifth. Then so you fast forward to the quarterfinals. Chelsea, Slava Prague, uh, Czech Republic side, Slava Prague. Um, uh, they they beat them one nil in the first leg. Then won four three in the second leg, giving them a five three win altogether. Arsenal, 2-0 win over Italian side Napoli and a 1-0 win in the second leg. 3-0 all together. Now this is the crunch point. Two English sides in the semi-finals. We are looking at a potential a, a all English final. So things are getting round, you know, getting really fired up here. So then you get um Chelsea playing against Frankfurt. In the first leg, they drew 1-1. In the second leg, they also drew 1-1. Uh, the, uh, the game went to extra time, then went to penalties. 
And then Chelsea ended up winning 4-3 on penalties. Even though it looked like Chelsea was going to lose. I remember looking at the scores thinking, oh my god, Chelsea's actually going to lose. Because I think Arsenal the day before, um, oh wait, no, sorry, all the hours before that actually did win their game. So we were looking at an all-English final if Chelsea were to beat Frankfurt. And it was looking like it wasn't going to be the case. But then they ended up doing it and it was absolutely brilliant. So obviously Arsenal... Uh, play the Spanish side Valencia, 1-3-1 in the first leg, 1-4-2 in the second leg, and then 7-3 altogether. So leading up to an Arsenal-Chelsea final. So for both sides, it's major that they do win this competition because in the league, they've been so, so poor. Even though both sides did start pretty well, Arsenal had a decent start as well. Chelsea had a really good start. I think they won five of their opening five games, I believe, or was it six games? I remember it was Liverpool, City and Chelsea were all doing really well and then Chelsea kind of you know started tripping over their own feet and then lost the league completely and it was just all Liverpool Man City throughout the duration of the league. And then um obviously Arsenal season um first season with Uma Emery, uh first season away from um uh, Arsene Wenger. So a very you know a brand new era for Arsenal, not expecting much challenging for the league, maybe next season, but let's see how that goes. But um Obviously, a very, very good route for them. So it would be nice for Sarri to get his first trophy uh, at Chelsea. Same again with Emery. Uh, even though he's planning to stay there, for, even though he's planning to stay there for the long haul, um, Sarri, we don't know what the hell's going on with him. Is he going to Juventus? Is he going elsewhere? Because by by the looks of it, this is going to be his last game as Chelsea manager. Any Chelsea fans in, in in the video? Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Is that going to be the case? So my prediction, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with a 1-1 one, one draw for the for the full 90 minutes. With, with therefore the game's going to go to extra time. And I think it's going to stay that way. And I think we're going to I think we're going to go to penalties. And I think Chelsea's going to just going to edge Arsenal on penalties. I think that's my that's my prediction. So I'm predicting 1-1. One, one. I'm going to say Chelsea to score first. 1-1. One, one. Uh in extra time. You know, nothing to separate these two sides and then I'm going to say Chelsea to edge them out on penalties. That's my predictions for the Europa League. Let for the Europa League final. I think Chelsea's going to merge winners. Let me know your opinions or your predictions in the comment section below. So let's take a look at the Champions League final, which happens this Saturday on June the first between Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur. So similar to what I was doing in the first part, which I was which I was talking about Arsenal and Chelsea, their route to the final. I'm going to be talking about the same with Spurs and Liverpool. So Liverpool, uh, sorry, I'll start. I'll start with Spurs. Spurs actually had a tricky group stage because they played six, one two, one two, drawn two, and lost two, and very nearly, and I mean nearly, got knocked out and were nearly in the Europa League for the remain. Well, for the knockout stages, anyways, um, they were just just pipped ahead of Inter Milan. I think you know they had the exact same record. I believe. Spurs might have, I can't remember what what what, it, what, it, what it's decided on, but I think Spurs had one more whatever than, than Inter Milan, and that's why they were able to progress. Liverpool, same kind of scenario, even though they were very, very also, they were very, very nearly, nearly knocked out. They were actually one goal away, or one save away from being knocked out. Um, similar, to, you know, very, very similar to uh, to Tottenham. So they finished second in their group. They uh, played six, won three, drawn none, and uh, lost three, nine points, and again. Similar, similar kind of record. However, to, to Napoli, who finished third. However, Napoli drew uh, drew more games than um, than Liverpool. Same kind of goal difference and same kind of points. So that was the uh, the group stage. So obviously a very turbulent start to the Champions League for for for, uh, for both Spurs and for Liverpool, who who were just actually who actually reached the final the year before. If you remember when they played Real Madrid, um, Salah got injured and uh, everyone wanted Ramos's head. If you remember that one. So then you jump into the round of 16. You had a Tottenham Hotspur against Borussia Dortmund. Um, and Tottenham just whitewashed them altogether. 3 0 in the first leg, 1 0 in the second leg. And that was led to a 4 0 you know, dominance, if you like, from um, Tottenham Hotspur. Then you go off to uh, the Merseyside when Liverpool played Bayern Munich. What a game that was going to be. Bayern Munich are a very, very good team. 0 0 in the first leg. Then Liverpool hammered them 3 1 in the next leg. Absolutely superb performance from, from Liverpool. In the quarterfinals, Tottenham Hotspur played uh, English side Manchester City. Everyone w had their money on, Man on Manchester City. Um, and I believe that this is one of Tottenham's first games in the new stadium, I believe. I think it might be the second home game uh, that they played in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, I think it's called. Um, so in the first leg, they beat City 1-0. 
And then in the second leg, they lost 3-4. But if you remember, that was the manic kind of away goal situation where City was dominating the game. Then Spurs came back and they scored in the last last kick of the game, wasn't it? I think it was a was it a VAR decision. Oh, that was right because I think um, City didn't City score, and then the, the the goal was disallowed by VAR. It was it was it was bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Yes, that was right. I saw Tottenham again was so so lucky to be able to get through, and City was so unlucky. But that is football, that is VAR, and that's something, if you do follow the Premier League, that's something that you will probably see more often than not um, next season. So, switch over to the other game, Liverpool-Porto, um, Portuguese side Porto. Liverpool won 2 on the first leg, won 4 in the second leg, not a problem whatsoever. So, in the semi-finals, you have Tottenham Hotspur against Ajax, Liverpool against Barcelona. Ajax, who are... Probably the next kind of great European team, if you like, because they've got so many good, young, hungry players, even though they're going to be selling a lot of them this transfer window. But at this at this given point, everyone was like, oh my god, like I can't, I'm so, so excited to see what um, Ajax can actually, you know, achieve uh, with this brilliant team. So, the first game goes ahead, uh, you have Ajax winning 1-0 in the first leg, and then Tottenham Hospital winning, beating them 3-2 in the second leg. Even though Ajax was winning 2-0 in that game in the second leg, which ultimately was just going to, you know, cancel out uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Then they did an absolutely incredible comeback to beat them three-two. Absolutely amazing. And a similar kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, and a similar kind of story occurred over on the other side um, of the um, of the of the country. Rather, uh, you have Barcelona against Liverpool. Barcelona beat them three-nil in the first leg, and then Liverpool beat the losing three-nil in the final. And then they came off to beat them uh, AC Milan, you know, in the second half. To it to the best two nights of football that you could have actually asked for in those two semi finals, and then you have the final Tottenham Hotspur against Liverpool. Now, Jurgen Klopp has a bad run of form when it comes to cup finals, uh, especially European ones, anyways. Tottenham, this I think this is their first cup final, European cup final in a long, long time. Um, and it, it's, it's one of those moments where you think, hang on a minute, where you look at something and you think, how did it get there? Tottenham Hotspur, how on earth did they get there? They beat so many good teams and there were so many opportunities for other teams to get there. Ajax, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich. And if, here you are having Tottenham Hotspur and Liverpool in the final. Absolutely unbelievable. But um, for, for me personally, I think Liverpool will win their sixth um, European Championship. And I'm going to go with a 2-1 win to Liverpool. I think Spurs will score first. I think Spurs are the underdogs. With Undoubtedly, they are the underdogs. Um. But I think Liverpool will switch on. I think Liverpool will score early. And then come to half time, second half, Liverpool might score towards the end of the game. Liverpool have such a good side. Um, so yeah, I'm predicting the two and win to, to Liverpool. Spurs score first, Liverpool score the next two. One in the first half, one in the second half. Uh, and that's my predictions for the uh, football Champions League and Europa League finals. Let's hope you enjoy them. You can actually, catch, uh, you can actually watch them live free. Um, on YouTube if you do want to watch those games um, the Europa League of course tomorrow or today depending on when you're watching this um, I'm recording this the day before the final so I'll be watching it tomorrow um, if you want to follow me on Twitter at Glover Northern um, go and check me out on there I'll probably keep up to date with uh, what's going on in both games and then of course the final in the Champions League exactly the same as Europa League you can watch that game live on YouTube or BT Sport if you have it but if you don't have any of those go and watch it on YouTube for free very very nice of them to do that they do it every year um, and I can't wait to to you know you know to see that game. So absolutely incredible for that. Um, and yes, and the, once that game's over, then officially the, the domestic football season is over. Um, quite you know quite emotional. It's been it's been quite a good season, but nevertheless it's been a very very good one. Um, if you are new, if you are new around here, then please like and subscribe as well. If you do like me doing the the odd one off, you know Premier League kind of video or the big club kind of videos, then then please let me know in the comment section below. I will do more of them. I don't want to do too much of them because I know there are other people that do. They do probably videos better than better than what I can do. Uh, I talked about them anyways. Um, but if you are like if you are interested in the national league for for or the lower league football, then please subscribe as well. Any Overtown fans as well, then please subscribe if you are new around here. Go follow me over on Twitter at Glover Northern. Nice to see you there. And yes, until next time, guys. Enjoy the final, and I shall see you later. <laughs>